they collide with the player, then that's going to hurt as well. Um, then that's going to hurt. So if I just do this within the player thing, then I'll have to make a new for loop. I can just do this player.update. I'm just going to do the for loop for every player update all the enemies. Then the second thing is I have to do it again in here. But but that's okay. Um, so for every player, update the enemies. And then... So that is outside of the screen. Return. If this enemies at position I. So let's just get this down. Let's do K here. Okay, I want to optimize as much as I can because if I don't, then I'll have a bunch of unnecessary for loops. This is a more more of a clunky update enemies. So this is more of a clunky way to do it, but still, um, for every player, I'm going to go through all the enemies. Wait, is that worse than actually just going through all the players and enemies? Instead of going through all the enemies twice, I think going through all the enemies twice is, is worse for every player. Because I'm going to go through all the enemies once and then in here, sorry about this, I think this is smarter actually, to go through all the enemies once again, but having to... So I already do kind of. So this is better. I. I think this is better. Then we'll just do another for loop, and then just do this player. This player's that size. That size. So it's gonna be a lot smaller. Okay. If. Players, god damn it, this players at position k that get global bounds. I'm gonna have to do a player get global bounds as well. Inline call inline wait, uh, float wrecked uh, get global bounds. const return this sprite that get global bounds there we go uh, so this is going to be get global bounds global bounds dot intersects uh, this enemies Position I get global bounds. Then we're going to do this player players that position K that take. Uh, we're going to have to do this um, in line. Const int get HP get HP const turn this 
HP. Okay. Then we're going to do the same thing. HP max. Okay. <clears throat> uh, what is this? I don't think I need that. Okay. Uh, let's see. Players are K. I plus plus. Uh, where's my enemies dot update? Oh god. I don't know where it is. You know what I'm gonna have to do? I'm gonna have to just do all this. See what I did. Just go back. Sorry about this. Just gonna put it back where it was. And then keep working on it. There we go. There we go. Um, then if... This layers I'm gonna make a for loop again. Say K this players dot get size. Okay. If this players at position K dot get global bounds dot intersects this enemies at position i dot get global bounds sorry about that there we go we're good we're good uh so when we intersect when we hit each other that enemy is going to be erased okay I'm gonna return right there Return right there. And then we're going to do this players at position K dot. Now we got to do it in line. Set HP. And void. Take damage in damage this HP equals minus equals damage take damage uh, enemies that uh, at position I dot get damage just like that and what does the get damage do? Get damage. Return random, this damage, this damage, max. Okay. <clears throat> and we're going to erase that enemy. So, see if this works. All right, so I'm at minus two, minus two, boom, 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 boom. All right, so that works. Let's just do this. If player HP, where is the game? Update. Game update. So I guess in main, the whole update function runs. So what I'm going to do is in update, this whole thing, the whole enemy spawning and the moving of the enemies and stuff like that. I'm going to put under player uh, let's do this uh, um, so if If all the players, if at least one of the players is alive. Um, 
then I want a quick way to inline bool is alive const return this HP is greater or equal to zero greater than zero so if it is greater than zero they're alive if it's not they're dead um, so bool run let's do game here we go let's do a run boolean here Uh, bool run run game and then we go to game right here be like this run game equals true then we're gonna go down to update um, for this players well actually I do go through it already if run game then we'll update everything but the UI um, actually we don't have to update the UI either we could just do this straight up do this uh, just like that just like that so if the game is running now mm, and let's see players dot size uh, how are we gonna do this Players dot size is it's always gonna run, right? Um, where is it? Players here. Int alive players. Let me do this. Players. Int alive players. Whoops. Wait. This players equals this players dot size uh, where do I have this right here just like that and then players I want to go in game ah where am I here we go uh, if here if this players at position I that is alive um, if it's not alive uh, how are we gonna do this? not alive you know what we could do we could just do straight up straight up this players dot erase players dot begin uh, plus I so we'll just remove that player and then this players we won't even need players alive because then we'll just return we'll return so after the update I want to do that after the update if the player is alive you know what I'm going to do it after
I could do it here actually. Take damage. If this player is at position K, it's not alive, then I'll just erase it and I'll return. And so erase the player. And then I will erase the enemy and then return. So that's good. <laughs> 